Such a beautiful forest, this one. This is uh, about an hour away from my house. And it's a good sort of 45 minute hike up to the lookout. And beautiful rainforest. Really worth it. Come like it many, many times. Uh, Mount Cordo at Cunningham's Gap and it's pretty overcast today. There's not too much low cloud cover and middle cloud cover but the high cloud cover has actually sort of blocked a lot of this light. I saw a bit of the um, bit of the sunrise peeking through some of the clouds but I don't think it's going to happen much. But there is a bit of fog on the top of the mountain so it's possible in exploring the um, top of Mount Cordo and Long to Bear Rock that I'll find some interesting compositions and maybe hopefully a um, sort of a misty photograph. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get up on top of this mountain and see what we can find. This kind of place, it makes waking up at uh, 3 a.m. in the summer all worthwhile. Just had a look around on the uh, on the lookout. Sorry if there's any wind at the moment. It's quite windy day. Um, now I am on the way to Bear Rock. It's about another 25 minutes walk, and honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to find. Um, I've never come up here explicitly looking for sort of intimate landscapes like in the forest and whatnot. So. Uh, let's just see what we get. <laughs> Okay, so we're up on this saddle here that just um, goes along the ridge after you get um, past the, the peak of Mount Cordo and there's these beautiful mossy trees that I've um, walked past before the first time I came up to Bear Rock and I found, this, I found this one tree over here but it didn't quite fit in the composition where I could actually stand so what I've done is I've set up to take a photo of this other tree that's over here just a beautiful it's like it's got um, it's like it's got a beard almost of this green yellowy green moss and so I've set up with the the 90 millimeter lens I've done a test with the polarizer and it didn't do anything I th didn't think it would because the light's so soft and um, overcast at the moment so there's not much direction to the light so it doesn't cut anything but um, I'm gonna take the shot I've got uh, the lens at f5.6 um, auto aperture because I don't need to worry about um, setting the uh, exposure too accurately um, negative 0.7 underexposed just to get a little bit of that green back into the um, color 
and um, yeah, let's go. Ah, oh, wonderful. I think this should work if I crop out the top, so maybe a 5 by 4 crop. Um, it was quite difficult to frame just because there's so much around here, but I think this should be really nice when it's um, processed and, and cropped and maybe even printed. One of the um, interesting things about forests with uh, photography is that it's always nice to have light, bright, sunny weather, right? But with a forest, because they're so busy, there's so much going on in a forest that you really actually need cloudy light on occasion to soften it and allow yourself to be able to get in close and not be, not have the photograph drowned out by all the different stuff that's going on in the background. Um, I've always struggled with forests um, when the light has been sunny and nice because I just end up with so much visual information in the photograph that I can't, I can't see a composition unless you get really, really lucky. So just keep that in mind. It's um, when you get cloudy weather, a forest can be the best place to be, um, especially one like this with moss and ferns and just things going all over the place. bare rock. It's been a couple of years since I've been up here. Um, I've been looking around the top here just for something to shoot and some, something of a composition and I was almost about to just give up when I found this uh, this little bit of green, these green leaves on uh, one of these trees that has sort of like cotton um, I'm not sure what it is, I'll have to find out, but um, such a beautiful, quiet, windy morning. Quiet and windy? You wouldn't think those two would go together, but it's uh, really peaceful up here. I think I've got the whole mountain to myself. There was a car down in the car park, but I haven't spotted anyone on my walk up the mountain, so, so um, this shot's pretty simple. And I think I might try a horizontal 5x4 crop. Um, so we've got ISO 200, 1 180th of a second at negative 0.7 stops underexposed, just for those green sort of colours. And yeah, let's take the photo. You know, when I was coming up to Bear Rock here, I wasn't actually sure if I would find anything since I've come here before, and most of it's just shrubs and trees. But it uh, just pays to look really close and uh, look for those little details that uh, compositionally work against other details in, in your environment. Oh, it's so beautiful up here. 
so peaceful. So until next time, catch you later.